So right now we're going to eat a banana heart, which is similar to, or it's prepared in the same way as like eggplant. So this is the outer shell. And then here's the little flowers. And then my aunt says you have to coat your hands with oil and the cutting board with oil just yeah. because there's something about it that See can... See like that? Yeah. Yeah, like this kind Oh, all of, of that. Yeah. So this, this was yellow, mm -mm. but literally in about 60 seconds it's turned black. So it'll turn your hands black, it'll make the cutting board black. So I don't understand it, so I'm, I'm learning it with the video as well. So uh, she's peeling it. So the goal is <clears throat> to find the part wherein it's like um, not kind of maroonish, okay. something like that. So as soon as I peel this one, so we're getting into the desired color. Look at that. Okay. okay. So there's more of the blossoms right there. Yeah. And then peel the other part, which is this. She made this before and it, she made it into like a patty. So it kind of reminded me of like a meat substitute patty kind of thing, but it's it's basically similar in how you cook eggplant. Yeah. It's really so good. see that? My my nails didn't get any oil. So look what happened. So she has black under yes, her nail. Black in it, so That's I'm interesting. The similar thing happens with butong. Yeah. With coconut. Like with a coconut shell, it'll, it'll turn everything orange. Mm. And right now, cut a little edge of it. And right now we're, we're gonna get started. So just ting 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 ting. So this is what we're eating. Yeah. You're in the Philippines. It's not. I mean, it doesn't doesn't matter if you don't wear gloves <laughs> when you prepare food. So are you doing this to cut it open or are you just cutting it in small pieces because... Cutting it in small pieces. So this is li actually literally what we're eating. Yeah. Is there anything in the center or no? Just the same as this but it's all the same. a little bit wider. So it's basically very tender leaves of the blossom. Is that right? Yeah. It's essentially the leaves but they're very tender. Oh! You have to be careful when you use knives. Did I cut myself? <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> and then the goal is to remove it like that. And then so you're just gonna do this until it's gone. Yes. So it's very interesting. It's the same process. So it's just kind of like banana blossom leaves and she's just gonna cut them really small. And then what are you gonna do, man? You're gonna p combine this with like salt, um, pepper, and egg? Uh, salt first uh -huh. and then get all the Mm, the liquid from the ano. Uh huh. And then I'm gonna. What's puga dani dia? Like get the excess water from it because uh -huh. it's gonna taste bitter. Okay, so you're gonna yeah. soak this in salt water? No, not soak. Um, it's hard to explain. I'm sorry, I can't explain it in English. No. But there's something you're gonna help. So you're gonna have to do to prepare it yes. to make it so it's not bitter. Yes. And then you're going to take all of these little tiny pieces and you're going to add salt, add salt and pepper. No, not pepper. Not salt pepper, only. just salt. And then you're going to mix it with the eggs. After I get all the excess right. liquid from this. And then, Okay, so once you're, you've done with the excess liquid, what will you do then? Um, season it. So then you season it and you mix it with egg. Eggs, yes. And then you're going to pour it into the pan and fry it into a patty. Yes. It's very delicious. So that's pretty cool. Something I never heard about before I came to the Philippines is eating banana blossom. Yeah.